Sportsman's Adventures is presented by Yamaha. That's a nice one. He's leaving now, bud. Wow. Smoking, baby. It's what's so cool about fishing on the edge of a reef, you know? Yeah, you you got be it. out there kite fishing for sailfish and catch one or two. You pull in here on the edge. How do you find some of these spots where you're yellow tailing and they turn into kingfish? Yeah, a lot of times. You know, you sit there chumming all day and eventually everything bigger is gonna find you. <laughs> You'll see them come lay up behind the boat. And you always try to keep a big live bait out the back of the boat too. Yeah. And that's what that's what makes the key so cool and special is they got that reef line that starts all the way up Key Largo and oh oh there he goes again and runs way west to Key West now all the way to the dry tour too is kind of wraps around there it's the second largest barrier reef in the world is that right yep. You know, with fish that make those surges, bonefish do the same thing. If you don't, you know, have it a light drag, you tear the hook out of the fish's face. Yeah. Especially if you like to use braid for bone fishing, you know. I no still prefer monofilament, you know. Just for that, that first two runs or so. Yeah, because the, you know, Bonefish makes his first run, and you can be assured if that first run's 150 yards, the second one's gonna be half that at 75, and the third one probably about 40, so. Leader. Yeah, for most pelagic fish, we'll start out pretty light, and when you get that bite, we'll just let them run. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> there we go. That Dang, Chris! <laughs> Mr. Trossett! That's a kingfish for you, Rick. Wow! <laughs> We're all up in the rods. <laughs> Dang! Smoker, baby! That's why they call him a smoker. How'd you like Dang. to be on the wrong end of them teeth right there? I don't want to be. <laughs> want to slide them in there and watch your toes? All right, I'm watching them. I'll get out of the way. Only a mama could love that mouth. Bringing home the snapper. Hey, look at that. For this sportsman's adventure, Captain Rick is back in the Keys, but he's not complaining. <sighs> Marathon is known for its great access to the open water, and the Faro Blanco Resort and Yacht Club is one of the many access points. You can choose to stay in one of their luxury rooms or stay on board your own boat in a rented slip. Either way, getting to the nearby fishing grounds is fast and convenient. Today, Captain Rick is joined on his adventure by Captain Chris Trossett. Yeah, he's based out of Key West, but he knows the Keys and always enjoys fishing some choice spots. Here we go. Wow, Logan. Wow, you went the wrong way, dude. You went down. Look at this. On your gloves here. Big tuna? Yeah. Oh. The tuna. See down below them? Yep. Oh, he's done. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, this guy's grabbed that one. <laughs> that fish had a lot of heart, bro. <laughs> yeah. You kind of have to when a three bull sharks are after you. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, the result is going to still be the same. <laughs> He's going to get eaten just by something a little smaller. Yeah, something much more important. <laughs> you need my pliers? Yeah. Just see Down the hatch. There we go. Excellent. In the box. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Rodan. Set it, forget it, catch more fish. Fish Bites and Fish Bites Fight Club Lures. The Costa Pro Series. It's time to go pro. And Startron. Cures and prevents fuel problems. One of the best baits out there are Speedos. And as Rick and Chris set off some chum just off the ledge of a reef, the hoop net gets employed to wrestle a bunch. Later on, the captains are gonna be looking for some smoker-sized kingfish. And Speedos are a snack they can't resist. Little vibrating tail. Boy, what a nice, light outfit, Chris. You know, this is it. That pin slammer three, loaded up with some diamond braid. That's a good good balance, that, that medium-sized blank. You can still cast a pilchard yep. mile with 30 pound on it and still put the heat on them when you need to. Yep. Get the diamond fluorocarbon. 40 with a trace of wire and a treble hook, an eagle claw treble hook. What more could you want? I see the leader. A bonehead. Is that what we got? We got a bonita. Oh. Who would have thought? <laughs> How could it happen like that? <laughs> a bonita in the Florida Keys. <laughs> Oh, I got one too. You got a bite? Oh, so that's how you're gonna do me? You're gonna <laughs> you're wait till I brother. get mine over here? <laughs> the bonita. You want this bonita for chunking for bat for the wahoos, bub? Yeah, we'll keep one of them. Okay. I guess this will be the chosen one. Nice. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, he woke up. He just woke up. All right, I put him in there. Don't step back. All right. Ay, ay, ay. We'll keep him for a while, who choke. But you got a beat neither, too? I think so. He's staying up pretty high. Yeah. If he goes down, it could be bad for his future. I saw a big shadow down below there, so. Ah, it is a little tuna. Oh, little tuna dog. Little football. A little gap? Oh, if you want, yeah. Huh? Yeah, if you want her, you can yeah, grab man, him. Yeah, man, we want to take him home. How about this? Let me reach out and touch somebody. I'm gonna get no treat boy. him like AT and T. <laughs> You're gonna get some blood on that freaky red gap of yours. Woo! There you <laughs> go. How Tuna. about that? All right. Nice way to start Ms. off. Ms. Murphy instructed me to make sure that if there was a tuna involved, that we certainly want to make sure we brought him home. Well, we definitely want to make Miss Murphy happy. Oh yeah, when Miss Murphy's happy, everybody's gonna be happy. 
Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Power Pole, Total Boat Control, Contender Boats, Always in the Game, Casa Vieja Lodge, Experience Five Star England in beautiful Guatemala, Murphy's Law Sport Fishing, Book your trip at murphyslawsportfishing.com. Taco Marine, Troll the Edge, and Diamond Fishing Products. Our reputation is on the line. We might have the Bonita Bonanza going. Is that what you got? Yep. Bonito. Oh. There's a very large shark looking at him, too. <laughs> wonder if that's what you got. It looks like something a little different. Head shakes. The king. Mm -hmm. He didn't make that run yet. You know? See if I can get this guy unhooked. There he goes. Well, yeah? I think you got a little, little tuna there, I saw. It's all black back to him. Yeah, I thought so too. Put a little more pressure on him. I want to get that gaff out of the front. I'll grab that gaff. It's up there in the front. Whoa. Yep. The tuna. There he is. Right. Very nice, you like Mr. That? T. Oh! oh. <laughs> Whoa! Let's try not to mess up the meat. Yeah. <laughs> in the back fin, but <laughs> that second one might have. Might have got a little bit. Here you go. Uh, look, Tunas! Look where you hooked him. I hooked him right in the schnut. I don't want him to mess up my leader. Show <laughs> it to that boat over there. <laughs> nice. This little... Look, look, his fin split. That's where I hit him the first time with the oh, gas. That right away? <laughs> I missed. <laughs> Got him the second time, though. Oh, yeah, you did. And there's no getting away from Mr. Trossett. <laughs> good, 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 good. I like it. Nice Florida Keys black fan. Yeah, man. You know, he didn't have to come very far to come from the hump. <laughs> yep, they can travel quite a bit of distance pretty fast. That's what's so cool about that fish, is the fish can be found on all those pinnacles or humps. Isla Mirada, the Marathon hump. And then you got them where they move in on the edge. You'd be sail fishing, and next thing you know, you're catching a tuna for dinner. Yep. Yeah, we've caught them from 2,000 feet of water all the way into 20 feet of water. We've thrown at them chasing ballyhoo before, so. And that's what the Florida mm -hmm. Keys offers. That's it. Beautiful fishing, no matter where you are. I kind of like Marathon. I know you work out of Key West, but I'm, Marathon begins with an M, like Murphy, you know. Yeah, yeah that So that makes we sense. kind of have a special thing <laughs> going a, on there. Got a little bond. Yes. All right. Well, I guess we need a couple more baits, don't we? Let's get them back out. Okay. See what we got. Bigger the better. Bigger the better. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Ameritrail. Load, launch, relax. Maverick Boat Group, makers of premium boat brands. Maverick, Hughes, Pathfinder, and Cobia. The American Fishing Tackle Company. Any fish, any water, since 1958. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. And Garmin, join the club. You know, that's one of the things that's so cool about kingfish, Chris. It doesn't matter whether you're off a of marathon or Key West or Isla Mirada, Carolinas. You know, it's one of those fish that are pretty visual. 
Yeah, I mean, they get all the way up in the Gulf, too. Yeah. All the way up to Venice. Mm. Yep. They're fun to catch everywhere. They're awesome fish, though. Yeah, anything that'll skyrocket a bait. That's right up my alley. Good to eat, you know, and make good smoke. Make some a lot, shit. A lot of the stuff that everybody gets, smoked fish dip, is kingfish, you know? There's a pretty big commercial market down in the Keys in the wintertime. Most of that goes to smoked fish dip. Yeah. A couple of them made locally here. You know, their mouth is so hard, the kingfish's mouth is so hard that those razor teeth obviously are part of, they come in there and cut the fish in two. But what's amazing is how many you lose because of that hard mouth. It's hard to get the hooks to go all the way through, you know? Yeah, most of the time when we when we hook these fish, you know, we'll use a little treble hook on them. Right. And it'll just be kind of pinned in the corner of their mouth. As soon as you take pressure off it, it'll fall out. This guy's hooked somewhere in the Nagged back. Him. Hooked in the back. Oh. <clears throat> See that? He's hooked in the back. <laughs> So the anybody front hook can catch was him in, in his mouth. mouth, and it came out, and the other hook hooked him in the back. <laughs> That's a good eagle call right there, buddy. <laughs> sharp. Those laser sharps are who? What you need? Know, pliers. I got pliers in here. Here, I got mine. I like that. Now I, I don't have to get my hand next to his teeth. Yeah. Cause <laughs> they do want to bite you. All right, fish dip. Yeah, man, let me get out of the way. <laughs> I don't know which way to go. Get out of this. Go over here. In the box. He doesn't even know he's hooked yet, or he's little. Got him? There and a little one here. Again. There he is. Oh, little guy. We got ha ha. Got him, Chris? <laughs> He's laughing at us. <laughs> got him in the elementary school. Yeah? You got yours in the R noose, and I got mine in the shoulder. And they both about the same size. They came from. These are the first graders. <laughs> cool, man. These are good for smoking. I'm coming over. Let me get out of the way. Bachelor number two. So Chris, <laughs> how you like fishing with this diamond? This high-vis orange? That stuff is a lot easier to see. Yep. Pretty much any water condition, you know, green water, blue water, up against the sky. That's just, yep. makes it a lot easier to manage everything. And that's all part of it, you know? Is being able to see where they are. Yeah, it just you simplifies know. the whole experience. Well, the other thing too is when you're guiding and you're out here, you're a one man show. And so a lot of times you're reeling in and you're coaching 
your customer through the process, you know. It just makes your job visually a lot easier. Yeah. And eliminating little mistakes can be the difference of catching, you know, a personal best for somebody, you know? Yep. Yeah, one little mess up, you know, if he's swimming towards the motors and they can't quite see where the line's at, I can that could end it right there. Yeah. Yeah, the biggest thing, honestly, with when we're king fishing is just steady pressure on them. Yeah. That's a nice fish. Yeah, it is. One more time. One more little circle here. Oh, there he goes. No, no. Oh, he made a, a nice turn for you there. Yeah. <laughs> he could have put you in a world of trouble. Now that's a good king fish right there, there Kev. Florida Look king. At that king. one. <laughs> that one. Chris. Let's get him in the you boat told me we might thing. catch a big kingfish. <laughs> you never know on the edge of the reef. You never know. <laughs> you got him there? I got a little bit. Oh. Got a little bit of his Let's tail. <laughs> wow. He's How big is that fish? He's 34, 30 pounds, 30, 32, 32. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. Sweet, brother. Way to go, bud. So it looks like between the smoker and the sushi plate, there's going to be some good eating thanks to the waters off Marathon. And that's what a sportsman's adventures is all about. Keep up with the latest at Sportsman's Adventures by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.